Hi, this is Tim. Today I'm building a couple motor starter panels and I'm not going to go through building the whole things because we've done videos on that before. In fact, I'll put links to those in the description. But I wanted to go through a few things that I do to help speed up the process and more importantly, the accuracy of our control panel builds. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. And any questions that come up, put them down in the comments. Your question this week can easily be next week's automation topic. So if you build a lot of the same panels, get to use some templates. We rarely pull out a tape measure for laying out our panels. We have these templates and they have all types of little notes on them, but we know that we line it up here and we can mark all of our handle holes, line it up there, push buttons, line it up here if it's a manual motor starter. So these things can save you a ton of time. We also have them for our inside panels. So we can just lay them on, tells us to line up in that corner, mark our holes, drill them. It gives us a lot of accuracy and speeds up the process. Uh, another thing is be careful on your panels that your bolts aren't too long. So like these right here are too long. They're about, really they're about an eighth inch longer than the panel so you'll actually bow the back of the panel out which isn't good for a couple reasons one especially uh well fiberglass and steel panels if you're shipping them you will end up denting the panels in shipping also it just makes it a really nightmare to change the components out later i used to use a cutoff wheel and i overall don't like that method because if you take the screw out when you go to put it back in it can be really difficult to get back in um, and of course somebody will point out in the comments, so I'll go ahead and tell you, yeah, you, you can use these little bolt cutters here before you put the screws on, but one of these really hurts your hand if you're building panels all day. So I don't do that. I do use a regular set of bolt cutters. And yes, if you take the screw out later, it does go right back in with no problem. So I just lay this up here before I put it in and just snap those off. And yes, I forgot to put my safety glasses on. I didn't think I was going to actually cut them. But then I thought, while I'm at it, I'll just show you one other thing that I see a lot of people get wrong and show you how I do it. Because so I'm maybe just going to set this in here and talk about the disconnect switch. So through the door disconnects, we have a video on how to line them up and it works really well. And then you need to get your shaft length. And there's a lot of nice math equations in that little mi miniature instruction book they give you to tell you how to do that. But well, what I actually do is you can kind of eyeball it there. And we can see that it's right at the end of this radius. That's where it needs to be with the top of the panel to be the right length. So I just drop it in there. Oh, didn't get a tape measure. Then I measure right up to that radius. And in this case, I need to cut four inches off this shaft for it to be the right length. Because I see a lot of them that either it's, it's barely engaging, and so they're really a pain to turn on and off, or you can actually see sometimes the panel's bowing a little bit where they didn't want to cut them too short and they're way too long, which they work fine, but then the panel is bowed out and it's not actually sealing good. So those are just a couple quick tips to help you build a better panel that I wanted to share with you. If there's anything that you think I could do better or you just want to share with everybody, put them down in the comments. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.